Hello, beautiful souls. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I just want to talk about what was laid on my heart this morning. Becoming the best version of yourself in 2019. And what made me think about it is um, this scarf that I have on here is my latest Amazon shipment. You guys know I am obsessed with Amazon Prime. I love it. Anything that I can think of that I need, like a bottle or a sippy cup for Summer Lily or some teething cream or whatever, um, I literally can just press a button and it shows up at my door in two days, so I love it. But this is the Baby Catan Baby Wrap. I am so obsessed, like I love it so much. I wear scarves every single day and um, this looks like a scarf, but it's really a baby carrier, which is amazing. And I love my Moby. My bestie Shanita bought me a Moby for my um, baby shower and I love it so much. I love baby wearing. There's so many different benefits. You have to look it up and um, it keeps summer with me all the time. But um, this is more convenient. I don't carry a big baby bag. This is not what this video is about, but letting you know how we got here. I don't carry her big baby bag anymore. I try to keep it really simple. So I bought a crossbody and I literally just keep a couple Pampers, um, wipes, the essentials. And carrying the Moby just wasn't really efficient for me because it's a whole entire bundle. And wearing it all day, like, kind of doesn't work with my outfits. But this... This is not even a paid promo. They should pay me. <laughs> but I can literally just open it up and it turns into a carrier. I just drop her. Anywho, so this brings up the topic, becoming the best version of yourself. What can you do to make your job easier? What I've always said, whatever it is that you do, do it to the best of your ability. Be the best person in your niche. If you're a trash truck driver, be the best trash truck driver in the entire universe. Like, just do it the best. What can you do to make your job easier as a tra trash truck driver? I used to be in optics. I used to manage an, op an ophthalmic office. What can you do to make it even easier, make it better? I was super organized. Like, right now, I'm a stay-at-home mommy, and I love it. I'm the best stay-at-home mommy that there is. <laughs> But when I was in that field, I was the best. I knew everything. I knew the ins and outs. I knew who to call. I was all about becoming more efficient. What can I do to make my day go even more smooth? Something that my hubby taught me, um, something one of his mentors that he listens to or from one of the audios that he listens to is writing down what worked for you last year and what didn't work for you last year. And when we were talking yesterday, I was like, you know, that's genius. That's something that you can apply to every single day for massive success at whatever it is that you're doing. It works for him. He's a Forex trader and he also teaches people how to trade. It works perfectly for him and his schedule and what he's doing because it's like, okay, what didn't work for me yesterday? Let's never do that again. And what did work for me yesterday? Let's do that again. You know, if you, for example, for him, for example, you know, using a certain strategy, if I hop into this trade using this strategy and I made a lot of money doing it, I'm going to keep doing that. Or, you know, if I jumped in this trade with this analysis and that didn't work for me, I'm never doing that again. And also, you know, making sure that you have a notebook to write that down, like keeping track. Well, for him, he has a Forex trading journal and he writes down, you know, this trade worked, this trade didn't, why, like that. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, um, I'll tag him below so that you can go to his page and check out a little bit more about what he does. So I do the same. I write everything down. He's really taught me a lot about setting goals and intentions and this comes back to doing whatever it is that you do being the best because I, like I said I'm a stay-at-home mommy that doesn't mean that I don't have goals that doesn't mean that I don't have a schedule and things to stick to so I write down exactly it is that we what exactly it is that we do 7 a.m. we wake up we pray um, we listen to our peace affirmations I know that when Summer wakes up in the morning, it's time for her to get changed, she needs to eat. I get myself together, brush my teeth, shower, throw a load of clothes in the laundry. Next thing I know, 
it's nine o'clock and it's time for Summer's next nap. So while she's asleep, I'm like, okay, let me go knock out the chores that I can't do with her in the baby carrier. So, you know, I have my entire schedule and agenda and I cross it off as I go. That's how I stay organized. What did, what did work and what didn't work, that has been amazing for me. Like, for example, just now, this morning, we're trying to get her used to being in the crib. What did work is I feed her, if I hold her and feed her and rock her, she falls asleep and then I can go lay her in her crib and then she sleep for the nap time. That did work in the past, so that's what I should have done today. But today, instead, because I wanted to do other things, I went and I put her in her crib, even though I knew she was going to be fussy, and I tried to do some other things. I played something on YouTube. Just put her in the crib with her little talking baby, because I wanted to hurry up and get in the shower so that I could go to the store. Anyway, that didn't work, so I'll never do it again. And every day moving forward, I know that I have to feed her, rock her, and then put her in the crib. So that's a perfect example of what did and what didn't work. Just thinking about what can you do daily to improve? What can I do to improve daily? You know, write down your goals. Write down what do you need to work on? Do you need to work on being more positive? Write down what can I do to be more positive today? Do I know that as soon as I get up and I go out and I go through the drive-thru, the people in the drive-thru are gonna throw me off or they're gonna put me in a bad mood. What do I need to do so that they don't bother me in the drive-thru. Do I need to listen to peace affirmations instead of listening to Cardi B? I mean, that's something to think about. Make sure you're writing your goals. How are you writing your goals? A lot of people don't know how you should be writing your goals. Are you writing your goals, speaking them as if they've already happened with I am? I am is the most powerful phrase out there because you're a creator. You are the creator of, of your circumstances. You're a co-creator. And when you write, things come true. When you speak it out loud, things come true. So, you know, if your goal is, I want to be a multimillionaire by, you want to be a multimillionaire. You just want to be rich. You want to have a lot of money. You need to speak, I am. You need to say, I am, and you need to have gratitude because gratitude is the seed for more, of course. So I am so happy and grateful now that I'm a multimillionaire. You need to set a date, you know? You need to set a date. So if you wanna be a multimillionaire, when do you wanna be a multimillionaire? March? Okay, March what? The fifth, is that your birthday? You want that to be? You want that to be when you become a multimillionaire? So speak it, say it out loud, write it down. I am so happy and grateful now that I am a multimillionaire by March 5th, 2019, you know? So make sure you're, you're being really intentional when writing your goals. And don't just say, I want to be, I wish that I was a multimillionaire because that's not as effective. I'm all about working smarter, not harder, which is what this working smarter, not harder. This baby Catan is all about working smarter, not harder. I need something this easy. You know, I was in Target the other day trying to wrap that big old wrap and it just wasn't working. It was dragging on the floor. So with this, it's user friendly, it's efficient, it makes my job easier. I know that when I go upstairs, Summer Lily is gonna be waking up from her nap, she's gonna be fussy, and I can grab her, and I can scoot this thing like this, and I can drop her right here, and I can go on about my day and complete my tasks. So, you know, the purpose is whatever it is that you do, I'm a stay at home mommy, I'm a wife, I take my job very seriously. I take my job seriously, I wanna be the best mom, the best wife, the best daughter, the best friend. So you have to figure out what you can do to become the best, you know, as far as being a wife is concerned. What can I do to make my husband's life a little bit easier? You know, having his lunch and snacks ready before he walks out the door ironing his clothes before he leaves out the door. Those are the things that I know make me a great, a great wife. And I'm doing my job the best that I can. As far as becoming the best version of yourself, what do you need to do as far as what you're surrounding yourself with? What are you listening to? And what are you allowing in your eye gate, in your ear gate? You may have to change some things. You know, a lot of times people set New Year's resolutions, and they say new year new me but what exactly are you changing do you need to change the people that you're hanging out with people that you're surrounding yourself with 
friends, family, coworkers. Now, coworkers is an interesting thing, and I won't touch too much on that because you cannot remove your coworkers, but you can change your mindset and you can change how you choose to respond to them and their actions. That's what you can change. Focus on what you can change. Yeah, sometimes you just have to not show up to every event. You know, if there's somebody, friend, family member, if there's somebody that you know, man, when I come around them, they really drain my energy, then sometimes you're just not going to be able to show up and not be sorry about it, you know? Yeah, even, you know, holidays, birthdays, sometimes you might just have to stick a card in the mail. Happy holidays! <laughs> sometimes you have to love people from a distance. So be careful who you let in your space. Be careful who you allow in your bubble. I'm a super empath and I'm very sensitive to other people's energies and I know that. So I am careful about who I allow in my home, in my space, around my family, around my kid. So anywho, um, happy Friday. I'm super happy that it's Friday. I'm looking forward to the weekend. So as I close out of here, comment below one of your New Year's goals, your I am so happy and grateful now that I am as of date. I'm really curious to know what you guys have planned for this year. Also, if you are one of my new friends or this is your first time hearing from me, I'd love for you to turn the notifications on and follow me so you always know when I go live. Also, if you are new, um, my hubby and I have a YouTube channel our royal throne you can find the link to that on my actual facebook page and anything else let's be friends on instagram i'm looking for new instagram friends i want to follow new people see what you guys are up to snapchat all of that so until next time you guys have a beautiful day